In other news, there was another example of brazen gun violence here in the greater Toronto area today. Four people were injured in a daytime shooting at an apartment building. Our Christina Stevens joins us now from Whitby, Ontario, with the details. Christina? Donna, of those four injured, one is in critical condition, having been airlifted to a trauma centre in Toronto. The other three suffered serious but not life-threatening injuries. As soon as they heard, family members rushed to the scene. Jay, they shot the four of them into elevator. Jay. Oh my. Can we just ask you what, what happened? I don't know what happened. I'm... Clearly upset, she was quickly whisked, whisked away by police. It all happened at about 12.30 when multiple gunshots rang out. Police aren't saying if there was an exchange of fire or more than one shooter. They are saying they're investigating various locations within the building. And all of this happened not far from a daycare on the ground floor. Dozens of police officers responded, including the emergency task force. But so far, no one is in custody. Police are still canvassing the building and residents have been left shaken. In this kind of a complex, you hear sirens all the time. So we just had a look to see if there was someone coming in to our area. Um, and then we looked out and we're like, holy crap, there's cops everywhere. And we were trying to figure out what was going on, turned on the news, and then we found out that people were shot. Now, this is just the latest in a string of shootings in the greater Toronto area, which have been making headlines in the past few weeks, mostly because of the very young age of those involved. Since the beginning of the year, three 15-year-old boys and one 9-year-old boy have been killed in various shooting incidents. Donna? Christina Stevens in Whitby, Ontario. Thanks.